I, ladies first, so other ladies, y'all decide. What do y'all think as far as how important money is in a relationship? Should it depend on how serious you are? Should that be something that should be discussed right off the bat before you even get too serious? Or is it best to keep things completely separate until, I don't know, marriage, I guess I would say. What do you guys guys think about? Any opinions? Anybody want to go first? <laughs> The guys can go first too, or is okay? Go ahead. I feel like it should definitely be discussed only because everybody has goals and you know everybody wants a certain lifestyle. So I think it should be a conversation before it's even a decision, if that makes sense. So it's like, let's say if it's a casual situation, I don't think it's important to talk about. However, if you want a future with somebody, I think it's definitely a topic of conversation because it's one of the biggest cause of breakups. So if you have a clear understanding of what you're getting yourself into, you have the choice of whether you want to be in it and that's something you're looking for or whether you don't want to be in it. And it just it's just based on your decision. So it's like, what are you looking for? And is that person meeting what you're looking for? Got you. Got you. Um, OK, and quick before I move on, anybody else, quick question that pertains to that. How important or OK, what if your partner, in your opinion, this person that you're just starting something with doesn't exactly, or their excuses that they don't exactly feel comfortable uh, discussing whatever their financial situation is, you know, or, or whatever's going on. So I guess when is, when should that become part of the, the conversation? I personally like to have the conversation, not like on the first date, but very early on, because um, if I'm dating not all cases, but if I'm, you know, dating, it's because I'm looking for a partner. So I want to know from the jump what I'm getting myself into before I even waste time. Because even if you're not in the the financial position you want to be in, I got to at least know that your mindset is focused on, like, getting right, you know? Mm -hmm. It doesn't necessarily have to be balling right now, but, you know... I'd like to know that, yeah, I'm working on my credit. Yeah, I don't have a lot saved, but I have a saving mentality. Like, those right. things are important to me if I'm going to sit here. Unless I'm just coming for dinner and, like, getting some free food. But <laughs> right. I, I want to know, like, you know, I want to know what's And up. is that a complete red flag? No for you. Say the person is like, well, you know, right now, I'm not. I'm trying to plan with you. You know what I mean? I don't have no plan, but, you know, maybe you get... Is that like, are, in other words, is our ladies right now, you, do you think mostly looking for someone who's already know what they got going on or is it okay to, to get with someone who's willing, who's trying to build? Ladies, I think are looking for someone that already got something going on, but a good woman, I think is willing to, like I, at least in my opinion, what a good woman is, because I think I'm a good woman. I think she's got to be willing to like work with you. But, you know, like I said, it's up to that person's mentality. They don't have to have it, but they have to have the mental fortitude to be like, I'm working on that. Gosh, like, with you or without you, like, don't depend on me to get right. Are you trying to get right? Respect. Word. Yeah, facts. I think, you know, I think like depending is like, that's a whole nother level, like fully depending on somebody. But um, so what about you, Jada? You think any opinions? So any different I... opinions? So, so I'm sorry. <laughs> so I'm in a relationship, um, poly fly till I die. Mm. Um, but basically, I don't know if it's because I've been doing business since like I was 15, but I'm very upfront, not necessarily about finances and things, because I come from a day and age in very Caribbean where that's nobody's fucking business. So when it when it comes to things like that. I'm a very dolo mentality or was before I got in a relationship. And at that point, it's like, I believe in true partnership. And I also believe in good right. communication. So all of those things can be discussed. You're not going to be in the same situation, you know, especially in this day and age, probably for the next couple of months or a year or what. So if changes happen, if things occur, it's like, Everything is situational, especially with all of our crazy lives. So we need to talk about these things. So I know some people have arrangements, especially in my line of work of doming, where it's like some people are only allowed certain amounts of things. Some people have free wing with somebody else's wallet, somebody 
you know, whether it's a business relationship, whatever, but it's like, again, what works for some people work for some people, what doesn't, doesn't. Um, but me personally, I believe in like a partnership. Yeah, got you, got you. Definitely. Uh, Linda like just that. commented, Linda University just commented, uh, uh, how can a man, oh, did I pronounce that wrong? I don't know. Maybe it's lavender. lavender. I'm assuming. Right. I think yeah, it's yeah, yeah. My, yeah, bad, my bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. It's, it's, it's semi-late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, Listen, uh, how yeah. how can a man and woman be together if they're not whole? And so yeah, pretty much. That's pretty much kind of what Jada was getting to. You know what Wait, I'm saying? What we're talking about? Someone's whole? What happened? Ho- <laughs> no, 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 no. Somebody, no. <laughs> somebody in the comments asked the question. I think they were commenting on kind of what you were saying, Jada. They were like, how can man and woman be together if they're not whole? Um, I get, but I think these days, I think everyone might have a different definition of what being whole means as far as being a couple. Yeah, that's true. Um, to some people, oh, okay. being financially straight, that's that's like the big, big thing. And I think to some people, it's not as important off rip. Um, but but uh, Clay, you didn't really say anything. Do you have any difference? What do you think? Or like, uh, no. better question, as a man, how do you feel? When do you think is the appropriate time, or if even, is it to discuss with your new partner, a new girl that you're meeting, what's going on? Well, I mean, I feel like everybody kind of touched base on it. It's really situational, but definitely early on. You know what I'm saying? I don't think that's something I'm going to want to just like out the gate, come out and say, you know what I'm saying? Especially with my line of work, um, as far as what I do. I mean, I have multiple jobs, you know what I'm saying? So, like, sometimes some that could come off a little bit, like, egotistical. You know? Like, I'm trying to boast. Yeah, like, I'm trying to be like, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. yo, I'm going to have money, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, <laughs> that's not the vibe that I'm trying to give off, you know what I mean? But once I realize this person is someone I can take seriously, then it's like, all right, we could really talk and be hypothetical and fantasize about certain things so I could really see where your mental state is at. And if we really line up, then, you know, we move forward from there. But I also believe in balance too. You know what I'm saying? So Yeah, nice. for sure, for sure. Um, I think with our generation, especially like the weird thing is that the more <laughs> the more we have or the more that you know financially stable we are, that's the more upfront we are. You get I me mean? with what with our money, like yeah. people that are doing really well, <laughs> they, they have no problem. They'll tell you on the first date, and I'm, you know, I got, I got M's or whatever. I got, I, I got drop a bag. <laughs> <laughs> to the point that it is for real, like, but to the point that it's kind of scary when people don't bring up that that stuff off rip because you like what you hiding, you know what I'm saying? But I think mm-hmm. that's kind of just like social media and all that messing with us because that, like you, it has to be a balance, like you were saying. So. Yeah, yeah. Then again, but, I mean, uh, um, some people who who you know really like you know got the long money, you know what I'm saying. Um, some of them yeah, probably like really don't want to discuss it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I guess they're, that they're probably that's trying true. really. They're actually looking for real partnership. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, you know what I'm and, that, and that's the people who who the true ballers. You know what I'm saying? Probably like really, really got yeah. money. You know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but um, I think financial. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. I was just gonna say, like, I grew up with a hustler's mentality. And when I say that, I just mean, like, I could have a whole stack in my pocket, but I'm broke, you see. So right, yeah. when it gets to, like, dealing with people on a on a personal and intimate level, that's what I mean by, like, that will come up on its own. Because it's like, I'm not about to meet you and just be like, hey, you want to go on a yacht? Who the hell are you? So, like, right. you're not going to throw that type of money at a situation, like, in my opinion. Because I'm not about to sit here and impress nobody on no damn date. I don't know where it's going to go. So... Right. throwing like money too soon into something I feel like could probably hinder what could have been a natural experience because sometimes now you're just kind of centered around either either building something that could be way too premature to even think about or right. it right. could be like you know you're you're not even seeing red flags because you just kind of like what you heard off of that conversation right no for sure yeah um and yeah like uh so Matthew says people who are doing well do not talk about it. That's true. I think one of us did say that that sometimes yeah. the more you're the better you're doing, you're probably not gonna, you know, flaunt that. Talk about it. Yeah. Um Rachel says, dang, I got lucky. We didn't have to bring up no finances. We were in high school, so yeah. Which is true. I think that too. If you the longer that you've known your partner, particularly if you guys met at a time when you know this financial stuff wasn't a big deal, you were young, adult, you were still getting your lives. <laughs> yeah, like you were like you became adults together, you know what I mean? But 
Um, not everybody is lucky enough to be in that situation. So I do see why there's that urge to like know what's going on with your partner financially. But um, yeah, but personally, I do understand certain people that don't want to bring that up off rip or don't really want to because it could kind of look like that's going to be the base of the relationship if that's how y'all start everything. And I, I feel like if you're getting a relationship with somebody, money isn't the the only thing you should worry about or the main thing. So, um, but it is what it is. Money does play a big role and you don't want to find out five years down the line that you with somebody who's like a hundred thousand dollars in debt or like, you know, Word. got some company that did that failed or something. And they just, you know, cause that's going to fall on you too, especially once you're actually married and you got papers. So um, yep. definitely want to get that out the way. But if you got nothing else to say on that topic, we can move on. Um, something that I saw in the